Another new Pokemon set has just been leaked. Thank God, because I was running out of video ideas because we haven't had any good leaks in a while. But today we're going to have a look at the new Japanese set that has been announced called Dark Phantasma. How can you get it? When is it coming out? And most importantly, what cards are going to be inside it? But before we get to that, I'm giving away $1,000 for free. You heard that right, $1,000. Am I crazy? It's possible. But all you have to do is like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment happy 8,000 for a chance to win $1,000. Now wait, before you skip this and think, oh whatever, I'm not bothered, Think about what you could do with $1,000 right now. Think about how many Pokemon cards you can buy, or you could go on a vacation, or buy like a quarter of an Amazon share. And all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. I mean, that seems like a pretty good deal, guys. And it's completely free, so you have absolutely nothing to lose and no reason not to click. I've also linked all my socials in the description, and for each one of those you join, you get a extra bonus entry. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can hit it before the end of September. All right, so let's talk about this new Pokemon set. PokeBeach and PokeGuardian have both reported that the Pokemon comp Company has registered a new trademark for a set called Dark Phantasma. Now, trademarks are usually created around five to six months before the set is released, so most likely we will see this set in around March of 2022. Okay, so what cards can we expect to be in this set? Well, if you saw my video from a few days ago, the Pokemon Company are releasing two sets called Time Gazer and Space Juggler, also around March of next year. Now, those are obviously correlating with the upcoming Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl sets featuring Dialga and Palkia. And a lot of people were wondering, if we're getting an Arceus collection, as well as a Dialga and Palkia, Palkia theme sets, where was Darkrai and Giratina, the other mythical Pokemon from Gen 4? Well, here it is. Dark Phantasma definitely seems to reference these two prominent Gen 4 mythical Pokemon that were originally left out. The names of sets usually correlate with the overarching theme and Pokemon that are included within the set. For example, in Evolving Skies, for Evolving we had the Evolutions, and for Skies we had the Flying Dragon Pokemon like Rayquaza and Dragonite. So Dark Phantasm coming out around the same time as the Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia products, I mean, I did the maths and it definitely checks out. Also, the definition of Phantasm is literally an illusion, apparition, or ghost, which definitely relates to Darkrai and Giratina, who is a ghost type. Some other likely Pokemon contenders are Sableye and Spiritomb, who are also both ghost and dark type. But remember in the TCG there's no ghost type, and instead it falls under Psychic, which means this set will probably have a bunch of dark and psychic Pokemon, which sounds really cool. Which Pokemon would you be most excited to see in this set? Let me know in the comments below. Now considering we're getting all these legendary and mythical Pokemon from Gen 4, might we also see Uxie, Mesprit, and Azelf? Could we even see Regigigas and Heat? Tran? I think it's definitely possible and it would be awesome to see them round off this throwback to Gen 4. But these ones aren't as obvious choices as Darkrai and Giratina of course. Now as for the name, remember it's going to be called Dark Phantasma in Japanese, but in English we usually get some variation of that or something completely different but within the same general theme. My guess is that it's going to be called something edgy like Legendary Darkness or something because it fits the whole Legendary Mythical Dark theme, but I'm going to give you guys the same challenge as last time. If someone can correctly guess the English name of this set, whenever it comes out, if you are correct, I will send you a booster box from that set for free. Just make sure you don't edit your message. Now Pokemon usually trademark two sets together because generally speaking two Japanese sets will combine to make one English set, but Dark Phantasma was trademarked on its own, which is interesting because it might mean nothing or it might mean that this will be a bigger set than just your standard set. And considering it's coming out alongside Pokemon Legends Arceus and the new Diamond and Pearl remakes, I think they will definitely do something a bit special. Maybe we'll see a new Darkrai figure collection or something cool like that. Also, can you imagine if the Dialga set, the Palkia set, Dark Phantasma, the Darkrai and Giratina set were all combined in one massive Gen 4 legendary set, I mean that could potentially be one of the best sets ever created. I cannot wait to find out and I will update you guys as soon as we get the set list before anyone else, so make sure you subscribe or you're going to find out late. Now, about a month and a half ago there were also these other two Japanese sets that were trademarked called Battle Legion and Star Birth. My channel didn't even exist back then so I didn't make a video on it, but I thought I would quickly mention it now. Since these were trademarked back in July, we will most likely see these sets make up the next English set after Fusion Strike. Then we'll get the English versions of the special high class set, VMAX Climax, and then we'll get the Diamond and Pearl sets along with the Dark Phantasma set. So there's a lot of Pokemon cards coming very soon. I mean, I still haven't even been able to open Evolving Skies yet, and we're already talking about the next five sets. It's literally insane. But having said that, I think it's really awesome that we're getting so many great sets that we can enjoy, and I truly think this is the best time to be a Pokemon fan. And you better believe when these sets come out, I'll be opening and giving away as many boxes as I can get my hands on. So please like and subscribe so we can hit 10 thousand subscribers. Until then, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.